Welcome to our home. It's a bit cooler. Fall is fall is coming. Um, so I have a little lesson and a little story. Usually I go way back in time, but this just happened last week. So last week, um, yeah, last week Friday. So we were on a little camping trip at ten thousand feet in the Sierras. It's beautiful by all these lakes, and we camped at a at a campground, which is something we don't normally do because we like to be really, really alone. But there wasn't that possibility, so we camped at this campground, and we were for the most part really alone for the first three nights, and we were out hiking, and we came back to our to our camper in our camp spot. And I couldn't believe it. There was so many people camped right right across from us, like a a very narrow, single-lane little road that went around the campground. So we were here, and they were immediately right, right across. And the thing that got me is that the amount of teenage boys, and when I looked, there were like seven or eight, um, you know, big teenage boys, and then, and then this big truck pulled up, and six more big teenage boys got out. I don't mean big, big. I mean strong, muscular. And all I thought was, oh my gosh, this is going to be so noisy. We're not going to be able to sleep at night. I like to get up early in the morning and do my tai chi, and and we meditate together. And I mean, all these thoughts like, oh, this is going to be terrible, terrible. And there were a few, there were a few men also, um, but most of the, but the, the presence of these teenage boys was huge. So I'm like, Barry, we're gonna, we're gonna take a walk and find another spot. And you were really tired, and you looked at me like, oh no, don't ask me to do that. I'm like, yes. So. Oh, and I had just uh, collected a big amount of firewood for the campfire yeah. so I was going to have to move all that too. so anyway it, w- it was only a five minute walk and there there actually wasn't anything else available so we came back and I was judging these teenage boys in not a good way actually and I've we've raised a son and and um, I just I know he gets together with his friends and when he was that age it was it was loud. It wasn't bad, but it was loud. So it was very quiet over there, and and I got that my curiosity really really got to me, and I said, "Barry, go take the dogs over and um, find out who they are." Oh, I said, "Ask if they're family." You know, that's a nice way of <laughs> finding out. So he came back and he said, "It's a church group." And, and and they've come here to pray. I'm like, oh my gosh. They were so quiet. There's probably 20, 20 between the, the men and the, the teenage boys. They were so quiet. We, we guarded our voices so that we wouldn't disturb them. And by 9 o'clock, they were all asleep. It was completely quiet. Then I thought, well, you know, in the morning, they'll look it up and they'll be real rowdy and wake us up and we kind of slept a little bit later and by eight o'clock they were gone Hmm. silently i thought you know i judged i judged that group i judged them as being rowdy and loud and really difficult to be near and yet quite the contrary they their their presence really was a was a great blessing for for all of us at at the campground so mm. you know i'm obviously not 100% um done with this lesson on not judging people but after this after that experience i i want to re- always remember it and not not judge but but think well these these people or this situation could really bless my life, and I'll just I just sit back and see. So <laughs> it's uh, 
it's a great reminder, you know, that we're human, right? And and it's so easy to judge appearances, so easy. And I mean, it's really, it's a, it's just a good reminder, you know, that that we always will, maybe, maybe we'll be judging like this for the rest of our lives, and then we'll catch ourselves and we'll remember, oh, oh, these are children of God, these are beautiful people, and I don't have to judge. <laughs> <laughs> How can this situation bless me? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 really, I really truly felt blessed by, by, their, by their energy. It was so, it was really so incredible. All right, and you have a brand new song, right? I do. Um, but first, I actually want to thank everyone who's been watching over the last months for your patience with my missing tooth. Oh. <laughs> I mean, in the beginning, months, many months ago, I had a little... A filler tooth, you know, while I'm waiting. You have to wait like eight months for an implant. And for those of you who maybe every time I looked at, at Joyce, you could see a, a missing tooth over here. Well, yesterday I finally got the the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, look! And, and actually, maybe even some of you judged me for having a missing tooth. <laughs> I'm, ki I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> and probably I'm the only one that noticed this big hole in his mouth, but <laughs> I do like it. All right. Okay. okay, Barry. Okay. All right, so this is a new song I wrote, and um, I hope you enjoy it. My soul will live on When I'm done with this body my soul will live on when I'm done with this world. My soul will live on when I'm done with this body. My soul will live on when I'm done with this world. But I'm here right now And this world is my stage Yes, I'm here right now To love with all my high heart I'm here right now And you're here with me Yes, we're here right now To bring heaven on earth There's a soul world of light and color There's a world where we're loving and free Where the holy ones can be seen and heard and there's limitless creativity
take a moment, close your eyes, and just feel my soul, our souls will live on when we're done with these bodies. And that's the truth. Our souls are eternal. It's hard to believe that. It's hard to trust that. And also the, the last line, I, I really like that one. This world can go by in the blink of an eye. It's so fast, this life, this life can go by. And I don't want to sleep through it. I want to be awake. I want to feel. I want to love. I want to learn. I want to grow. Okay, take a nice deep breath and open your eyes. Welcome to this life. And may we practice not judging, but just but just being just being open. I think it I think it will bless all of us incredibly. <laughs> yeah, the world is filled with appearances that will almost seduce you into judgment, really. But if you can just remember, remember that we're here to love. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you.